Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson okay so how do we edit audio inside twisted wave well before we get into editing and all that good stuff first things first how do we attack or approach um, multiple takes I suppose if you want to call it that so like basically you're going to get an audition and they're going to request one of two things from you they're either going to say we want all your takes on one file right so it could be like two or three takes uh, to show your range or whatever it may be on one file that's really easy twisted wave was made for that that's very simple but let's say they wanted you to have you know all two or all three takes on their own separate files how do we go about this inside Twisted Wave? Well, it's actually very easy. Um, let me say really quick before we even get into this way, Twisted Wave is going to add multi-track functionality to their DAW. So it will be coming, I'm not quite sure when it will be coming, I think it's pretty soon, um, maybe over the next few months, but whenever that does happen, I will add a video to this course showing how to actually use it in its multi-track functionality. But as far as right now goes, uh, you're just gonna have to work around it. But again, it's not very hard, so let's go about doing that, okay? So I'm just gonna hit record and we're gonna go. All right, testing one, two, this is take one inside Twisted Wave. All right, testing one, two, three. This would be take two inside Twisted Wave. All right, testing one, two, three, four. This would be take three inside Twisted Wave. All right, now please forgive this insanity. My fan is going inside my control room. As you know, I'm not inside my treated booth. I'm outside in my control room making these videos for you. So forgive my fan. Obviously, that is not a good noise floor. You would not want something like that. But, you know, if I'm going to record out here and actually do something like for voiceover, I would have to turn my fan off. But again, I would just be in my closet. So anyway, now this is the way around it, not having multi-track functionality inside Twisted Wave at the moment. So you have take one, you have take two, and you have take three. And the easiest way to export these as their own file is literally just highlight take one from beginning to end and make sure make sure you give yourself enough space at the beginning and end. Of course, your noise floor is going to be better than mine out here. Uh, hopefully that's the goal. But make sure to give yourself enough room at the beginning and end of your uh, highlighting because you don't want it to abruptly come into your take. It can sound a little funky. It can kind of make a little pop, a little click coming in. So make sure you give yourself enough room like we've done right here. But all you then would need to do is go to file um, and then you would need to go probably right in front of me. There we go. Export selection. Export selection, if we do that, you're just gonna export it, and all it's gonna do is export that. It's not gonna export this entire thing. It's only gonna export that take. So you would label that as whatever they wanted you to label it, you know, but that would be take one. And then you would do the same thing over here. You would highlight this, and that would be your take two, and so on and so forth, all right? So this is the way you can get around it right now in Twisted Wave, but again, they will be adding multi-track functionality in the future, I think sooner than later. So whenever that happens, I'll make another video about it and I will add it to the course. All right, now let's get on to editing audio inside Twisted Wave. 
All right, so how do we edit audio inside Twisted Wave? Well, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you all the tools that you're gonna need to know as far as when it comes to editing audio inside Twisted Wave. And then at the very end, once I've gone through all of the tools and all the functionality, I'm then gonna just kind of add it all together and show you how I would go about editing this audition here, okay? And of course, we're gonna focus on this as one take, right? As in they want all the files on or all the takes on one file. So let's start. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is something called undo, redo. This is really something that's offered inside pretty much every program or software that you're running on your computer. Uh, you probably already know about it. Um, if you're on a PC, you're gonna hold down Control Z. And if you're on a Mac, you're gonna hold down Command Z. And this is going to undo a mistake maybe that you've made. So for example, let's say you're just going through your auditions and you accidentally delete something. Whoops, okay, what do I do? Well, if you don't realize that you've done this and you notice something is different, all you need to do is if you're on a PC, like I said, Control Z, and if you're on a Mac, Command Z, and look at that, it all comes back, right? So this is kind of a get out of jail free card. If you accidentally make a mistake and you don't know what you've done, you can undo it with your history. So that's undo, redo. All right, and next, how do we scroll in and out of our editor inside Twisted Wave? Well, it's actually very simple. Wherever you highlight your audio or wherever you place your cursor and click down and, and make a, a mark, that's where it's going to zoom in, right? So if, if I click over here, but let's say my cursor's over here, well, if I'm zooming in, I'm zooming in, by the way, with the, the scroll wheel on my mouse, right? So the scroll wheel on your mouse is all you're gonna need to do and worry about here. And it's gonna, as you can see, it's going to where I've, I've clicked or highlighted. So I could highlight over here and my cursor could be over here, but it's gonna zoom into where I've highlighted, okay? And of course, you could use these plus and minus uh, magnifiers up here to do that, but it's just, it's, it's too much. It's not as simple as just clicking somewhere and zooming in and it will go right there, right? That's just the fastest way to do it. And then of course, once you're in there, if you need to go left and right, you could come down here and move left to right with the uh, cursor or, or with a bar. All right, and that's scrolling. All right, now, how do you highlight your audio, right? So let's say, okay, this right here is, um, you know, a breath, a breath that I take inside my audition. Well, what if I wanted to highlight and delete that? Well, to highlight, all you have to do is take your cursor, place it where you wanna start, and then you're gonna left click, hold down, drag, and then let go. And boom, now you have highlighted your audio. Okay, well that brings me to my next point, which is deleting audio or deleting a breath or deleting silence or what, what have you. So all we have to do is once we highlight something, we then just have to hit the delete key on our keyboard and voila, the audio is gone. All right, well that can actually end up causing issues, right? So let's undo, control Z, let's just undo what I've done here. But let's say for example, well let's just do the same thing actually. Let's say I've taken away too much. Let's say I just, I'm gonna take away that breath. Well, look what happens. Well, now this is too close together. So listen to how this sounds. Of breakfast sandwiches, freshly made all day. You see how that's just a little too fast, right? That's just a little, it's, it sounds uh, unnatural. Okay, well, what would we do in that case if we can't just delete the breath? Well, because I've taken such an exaggerated breath, I really could just delete the breath and it would be a good spacing. But let's say it was a really quick breath and it looked something more like, what if it looked something more like this? Because people, when they're, when they're doing their auditions, they'll take quick breaths in between things they say, like I just did. And it'll look more like this. And obviously that puts you in a bad position where if you delete that, well, now they're too close together. So what would you do? Well, instead, highlight the breath from beginning to end, or I'm sorry, don't, don't highlight the breath from beginning to end. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, just click right there right at the beginning of where the end of the word is and the beginning of the breath is. And then all you've got to do, or really you could, wow, I'm, just, I'm doing great today. Really, you could just delete it and, and have it where it's not good. And then all you have to do is go up to effects and then find, it's probably right in front of, here we go, insert silence right here, which you could just do shift S. But let's do that now. It's 10 seconds, which is way too much. But go ahead and just apply it. And look, that is insane. But now you have full control to just highlight as much as you want and hit delete. And there we go. There we go. Let's see how that sounds. Selection of breakfast sandwiches. Freshly made all day. That's more natural, right? So again, you can insert silence wherever you want and it will help you kind of get out of that kind of issue if you encounter something like that. All right, and now let's just say you have two takes. So I'm gonna undo everything that we've done so far. 
cool. Let's say you have two takes, right? And you find that when you get out of the booth, you're like, you know what? My take one, it wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad. But my take two is stronger. It was a stronger read and I want um, casting and whoever it is that I'm sending my audio off to to hear take two before they hear take one. Okay, well, how would I go about doing that? Well, all you would have to do is locate where take one and take two stop and start, right? So let's see here. Okay, so here's where it starts and where it ends. Now we'll talk about these leading lines uh, once I get to how I would edit this, but let's not worry about them right now. Let's just go to where take one and take two end, right? So it'd be right here. So just click in the middle and you know that's where it is. So just go ahead and highlight take two all the way from beginning to end, okay? And then just go up to file, or I'm sorry, go to edit, and then go to cut, which you could do control X, right? But we're just gonna click cut. Boom, all right, well, take two's gone. So now what do we do? We'll just go to the very beginning and click you know, somewhere in the beginning and then go back up to edit and then go to paste. And voila, now you have take one in front of take two and that way they hear your stronger take first. And anyway, you can do this with, you know, if you have three takes or four takes, you can move your takes around in this way. All right, now I'm gonna undo, control Z, control Z. I'm gonna undo everything just to have it back where it was. Um, and let's say uh, this is something called raise, or well, something I call raise or lower the volume inside your editor, right? You can amplify your uh, your audio if you need to. Now, when we get into compression, really compression is going to take care of this issue for you. You don't really need to worry about this, but I still wanted to give this to you so that you know that you can use it if you absolutely need to. So let's say you see that right there, that peaking audio. That is so much higher than the rest of the audio, and it can be problematic uh, when we're trying to get everything to balance. Now, really, it isn't problematic realistically. It sounds normal. That's just normal human dynamics, okay? So let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Let me get rid of that breath. Uh, now listen to how this sounds. So you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's Breakfast with Evs. America. It really didn't sound crazy. I'm going to undo the breath taken out. It really didn't sound crazy. It was normal. I mean, that's just human dynamics. That's how we speak. But let's just say for whatever reason, you're like, hey, I want to turn this down. All right, well, click your, your cursor there and then go scroll in. And then go to where it's starting to be a problem and go to the very end, right? So I've just highlighted, as you can see, I've only highlighted the beginning and end here. I'm not doing too much. You don't want to take and highlight your noise floor over here and bring that up or down, right? You don't want it to sound weird and unnatural. So I'm just going to go, really, I could go there, but I'll just go here. I'll go here and then go to the end, right? And then all you have to do now is go to Effect, Amplify, and then instead of actually amplifying it like it's saying, just take it down, take it down, right? So now we're in the negatives. I'm gonna take it down, uh, let's just say, you know, around five dB, let's try that. So negative 4.8, close enough, apply. And now look at it. It is so much closer to the rest of the audio. Again, it matters, it matters which audio you're doing this to because now this won't sound right. Now this is gonna sound a little odd, check it out. Any type of way, any time of day, that's breakfast when it Actually, that didn't sound very odd. So I take that back. <laughs> Normally, if you go too low, it sounds like you've over compressed that one word. So it would be like, that's breakfast whenevs. And it would just sound odd. But that was actually okay. No problem there. So we're good to go. And I'm going to undo it all. And again, compression will take care of this. Uh, we'll learn about compression later in the course. But I still wanted you to know about that, you know, about that tool inside Twisted Wave if you ever needed to use it. All right, now, how would I actually go about editing, editing this from start to finish? What would I do? Okay, well, let's just play it from beginning to end. So I'm gonna go over here and take it all the way back to the start and hit play. Let's just listen to it from beginning to end so we know what we're dealing with. So here we go. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Dunkin' Donuts' unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. Freshly made all day so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast when Evs. America runs on Dunkin'. Jesse, guess what? Dunkin' Donuts' unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches, freshly made all day, so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast when Evs. America runs on Dunkin'. Okay, cool. Two takes. Pretty straightforward. Um, now, what are these leading lines that I do here? Like, for example, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Or, Jesse, guess what? 
These are just things that you'll learn in certain voiceover classes. There are certain studios, certain teachers and private coaches that'll teach you this. And it's a really cool way to kind of get you into the spec that they're looking for. Sometimes the spec will be like, we want this to sound friendly conversational or we want this to sound professional. Okay, well, there's little things that you can do to kind of help you get into those modes. So if I wanted to sound professional, I started with this leading line. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. If I were to read a Duncan spot, that kind of gets me into the professionalism, right? So I'm like, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. And it kind of gets you there. Or I could do this one over here, which is me talking to one of my best friends, right? So I'm like, and it gets me into that conversation where you like, Jesse, guess what? Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. You see how it can kind of get you into the read that you're wanting to deliver or that they're asking for? However, you don't want to leave them in typically. I mean, I would say in 99.99999999% of cases, you don't want to leave these in. So I'm just going to delete them. So I'm going to go ahead and you know what? I'll start. You will also want to leave about a second to a second and a half at the beginning and at the end of your um, reads and, and in between your takes if you can help it. So I'm actually just going to do this, delete it. Dunkin' Donuts, that was good timing. And then I'll do the same thing with this leading line, but let's go ahead and first tackle this take one. So here we go. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches. Okay, a ridiculous breath. And because the breath was ridiculous and it wasn't a really quick breath like that where I just keep talking, I can just do this. I can just delete it and now, breakfast sandwiches, freshly made all day, Sounds normal. Okay, so now I, I would literally do nothing else to this. Enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast when Evs. America runs on Duncan. But now, now that we're on to the second take, I do need to take out this leading line here, okay? But look what happened. America runs on Duncan. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable. It just goes right into my second take, which is not what we want. We want there to be about a second to a second and a half between my takes, along with at the beginning and end of my recording. So all I've got to do, I believe is in effects, insert silence, and it's again, it's going to give me 10 seconds, way too much, but now I can decide, ah, let's, ah, it looks about right. Let's try it. Erica runs on Duncan. Dunkin' Donuts. That's good, right? That's about a second, second and a half. That's a good, that gives them enough time to digest take one, and then they can get to take two and not be like immediately like hit with take two before they could even really think about take one. So here we go. It's on Dunkin'. Dunkin' Donuts, unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches, freshly made all day, so you can enjoy them any type of way, any time of day. That's breath. And again, ridiculous breath, so I can just take it out like this any time of day. That's breakfast when at. You know, it's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna take out a little more. Any type of way, any time of day. That's breakfast when at. America runs on Duncan. Boom, that's it. Incredibly simple. You see how easy that was? Uh, you know, editing is really not that hard. I mean, you can run into some issues here and there where maybe you're like, all right, I've never experienced that. That was kind of challenging, but it won't happen very often. Editing is actually really simple. So that's how you edit audio inside Twisted Wave. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll be adding, uh, adding. Wow, I'll be adding uh, a video to this course whenever the multi-track is actually released for Twisted Wave. So be on the lookout for that. Again, I'm not 100% sure when it's going to be released, um, but whenever it is, I'll add that to the course. See you in the next one.